Hey guys, Zephnix here, and today we're going to take a look at an arcade. So, yeah, this was the Dave & Buster's that me and wife went to yesterday. You know, a lot of people saw it on my Facebook there. I went to it in my Twitter. That's where I was. They go Terminator Salvation, which I actually didn't even know. They made another Terminator 2 game. So, Terminator game, rather. Uh, it looks very similar to the Terminator game that actually came out. Um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which was a rail shooter in itself. So, that was pretty cool here. So, right now, this is like the arcade area of um, Dave & Buster's. And it's actually pretty nice, too, because, like... It had a lot of games in there. Like at the time, I was really tired, so I was not feeling gaming right then. But you know, anytime like um, these games over here, well, we'll go, I'm sure I'll go back to those in a minute. So right now I'm walking. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay, this was another game. It was like another shooter game that I saw. Um, it had something to do with pirates and whatnot. So unfortunately, I thought the guy was going to continue. I just saw he made the countdown faster. Essentially, I guess he wasn't going to continue. So this was another airplane game that I saw um, called um, Sega Strike Fighter, apparently. And, you know, I looked up there and I saw Sega. So I had to go ahead and point it out. There you go. <laughs> Sega. Anyway, but yeah, um, speaking of which, I just want to let you guys know, too. I um, saw a video that um, Real Hard A Times put up. And I want to go and make a reply to that. But I figured I'd do this first. Um, so anyway, let's see. It kept going, kept going. As you see here, it's, it's kind of like it's always loud in an arcade. But at the same time, like it's like home for me. Like I'm used to that kind of. Ironically enough, I don't really like loud noises unless you know it's gaming, and that's how I've always been. You know, right now, a little kid trying to fly a plane into a tree, apparently. So keep going. That was Time Crisis to the left too. Time Crisis 4, to be more precise. So, here's another game. This was actually a, I think it's uh, Sega Club Cart, I think it was. Yeah, Sega Club Cart. Um, this is one of those games that, you know, they have like two machines together and they, they are, you know, linked together. You know, so, there you go. So, these guys are actually playing uh, the same game at the same time, you know on the same game not playing separately no not playing one game separately you know what I mean they're playing their competition so you always gotta you always gotta have a uh, Pac-Man game in the arcade that's like a staple you know there goes Guitar Hero Arcade I thought that was pretty cool um, I've actually never seen Guitar Hero in the arcades I've heard of it but I've actually never really seen it so moving on, you know, uh, let's see what else. Oh, McCanley, I didn't move on. I just moved to the right. Okay, fair enough. And I was going to wait for them to play it, but then I decided not to. And then to the left of me was Dance Dance Revolution too. I'm not sure if I actually turned that direction. I'm kind of surprised, really. Oh, apparently I did. There you go. So that was Dance Dance Revolution that they were playing right there. So it was amusing that went on. I was going to go this way. Did I go this way? It looks like I looked in it and I realized there was nothing over there. You know, it's kind of like that area with all the ski ball and stuff is <laughs> in arcades. I know ski ball over there, but I'm just saying. So I wind up going looking over here, see what's over here. And the area too with the arcades was actually quite large. So right now I'm at the area where I started from. Um, I went ahead here and looked towards my left, and here we have um, I think it's M H2 Overdrive, which is very similar to Hydro Thunder. I'm guessing the flashing red light means that they're in the lead, or maybe not. Or maybe they are. That's two different games. Maybe they're not on link. Anyway, I don't know. Um, so then again, it's usually a green light. I don't know. Anyway, so moving on, moving on. Let's see what else we come across. To I don't actually really remember what I recorded here. Oh. I, I had to laugh, I had to take a picture of that because like every arcade too has that bowling game you know a bowling game that you they had a little bowling ball as a controller and you gotta 
smack it up to, in order to go ahead and get it go. To the left of me is a horse racing game. Um, over here, this was actually a motor motorcycle racing game, which was actually pretty cool. It was like an arcade style motorcycle racing game. Very similar to, um, uh, what was that game? Um, I forget what the, um, PlayStation has. It's funny too, it's, um, I was thinking Microsoft should go pick something up like that, you know, but they never do. Hmm. Microsoft has the best uh, first person. I remember they said that. Are you crazy? It's like as much as I like my Xbox, I couldn't even back that. I was like, stop it. Stop. Anyway, uh, keep going. Um, over to the right, and you saw I stopped. I was like, ooh, because that's my game right there. Fruit Ninja? I love Fruit Ninja, dude. And they had three of them. And she blew up. I laughed at her too. I saw her. Uh, I looked at her father right in his eye. I'm like, why your daughter a loser? Because she can't do Fruit Ninja. I was like, your, your daughter will never make it in this world. She can't do Fruit Ninja. Just letting you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. Let's see what else. Okay, got some generic games over there. Yeah, I don't remember what's over there, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I probably was just standing with the phone there. I wasn't even looking at what was in there. So keep going. We got super pink in the way there. Come on, girl. More the way. There you go. Sitting there blonde in the camera with all your pink on. And still doing it. Stop it. Anyway. So here's another um, Sega game right here. You know, even, even today, Sega just rules the arcades. You know, that was just something like... You know, that was something back in my day, too. Like, Capcom and Sega just freaking rule the arcades. And if it wasn't those two, it was probably a third party, which was... I mean, there was a lot of them in, the, in there, but it was always, like, those two at least were the ones. Um, Ban... Uh, not Bandai. Uh, Namco also did with Tekken. I mean, they wasn't, like... I'm talking about those like who had like multiple franchises. Sega was definitely one of those who had multiple franchises in the arcades at all times. You know, you was hard pressed to find an arcade. There's Terminator Salvation again, by the way. But you was hard pressed to find an arcade without at least at least five Sega titles in there. Like I'm dead serious. You know? But that's just how it how it was. There was that's actually Transformers um Dark of the Moon up there, the game. I saw that up there. I was like, oh, snap. So, yeah. It's actually Dark Moon up there. Once again, another Sega game. House of the Dead 4. This was actually pretty cool right here. So, like, this guy, um, like, they were shooting, right? This, this monster was kind of running towards them. Well, shooting. I thought that was pretty cool. Which reminds me, it looks like the new Resident Evil 6 game might be coming out very soon, though, just in case no one knew about that. Resident Evil 6, actually, it wasn't announced yet, but people have started to see, like, huge signs of Resident Evil, so they're thinking that 6 is on its way, which is possible. You know, watch this guy. I had to do this, too. I had to put him in the screen, too. Watch this guy. Bam! I haven't seen, like, um, gun motion like that since my day. You know? And honestly, with the Wiimote and um, and the PlayStation Move, I would like to see more of that. I'm just saying. You know, I would see more of that. I mean, I don't... Ha, I look at two feet. Ha, ha. Anyway, keep going. I saw this. I thought this was pretty cool. The screen's like at the bottom there, and your job, I think, is to shoot a missile and try to get it in the middle there. So you had to time it just right, which, quite frankly, I don't see... I don't really see it being that hard, you know? It doesn't seem to be that much of a difficult task. Or maybe he was trying to shoot the um, ships. I don't know. I didn't play it that much. Or at all. So, I was like, okay, that's nice. On going, you know. I thought it was pretty. Anyway, so we're going over here. 
and then you got Grid right here. I don't know who Grid is, um, but you got Grid in the arcade as well. I know Grid is out for um, the consoles and whatnot, but I honestly don't know. Um, I don't know who made Grid. Now I think about it. Sega? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I don't know who made Grid. But I'll wait till you finish, then we'll just keep on moving on. So hold on, did I turn back here? Oh, I, I heard um I heard the sounds and I had to turn around because if you guys look here, this I knew like as soon as I heard it, I was like, bang, I know what that is. This is actually um Daytona. Um uh, I forget the exact game, but this is an old classic right here. This is um I don't want to say it's, it's the first arcade game that had um like multiple people that you can play with at once, but it just might have been. So if you see right there, see. I'm going back and forth. See the yellow car right there? The yellow car is actually going head to head with the black car right there. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. So I was going back and forth showing you guys. But this is um, Daytona USA. That's what it's called. Um, this is an old racing game from Sega, ironically enough. It's one of the, it's not, it might not be the first, but it's one of the first uh, racing games that had like multiple, um, multiple machines hooked up. There is, um, that's the actual game I was talking about, you know, with the, um, with the pirates and the shooting pirates. Unfortunately, um, I tried to go behind it. I couldn't get a good view. So I was like, all right, I ain't gonna sit there and just like, you know, haunt the guy or anything like that. So I'm just gonna let him be. So I went over ahead and tried some other things out. So this one's actually pretty cool. It's actually a physical racing game. Just go, you know, just, you know, a whole round the corner thing. And at the top, it has a camera on the top to kind of give you another glimpse of it, how, how all the, the entire race is going. But then it's like a real arcade game, but not. You know, not too bad. So then we got there. That's um, not school. Um, was it air hockey? No, table hockey or something. I don't know. So let's see what else we come across here. Pac-Man again. So you guys know where I am. You know, on the right hand side of me is, is actually the motorcycle racing game, and that's pretty much all I had. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little walk around um, Dave and Buster's, you know, the arcade. I thought, you know, you guys would love to hear and um, see what an arcade really looks like. Granted, the camera wasn't the best, but it still was fun. You guys have a good night. Zaf out.